What's up guys, Jordan here from Show Me Vegas and I'm standing in between MGM Resort's two budget properties here on the Las Vegas Strip, Luxor and Excalibur. Now if you're planning on coming to Las Vegas on a budget, odds are you've considered these two properties. In this video I'm going to compare and contrast Luxor and Excalibur as the two budget options in the MGM portfolio. There's going to be a scorecard at the end so be sure and stick around for that. I'm excited to get started, so let's go. Alright, right off the bat, before we even get started, I can't tell you which one of these properties you're going to like better. Everyone has their own likes and dislikes, tastes and priorities, but what I do intend to do throughout this video is compare and contrast Luxor against Excalibur in five different categories, and they are the room, location, casino, dining options, and the pool and other amenities. I hopefully will give you a pretty good idea of what you're going to find at each property in those categories, and then you can make the determination for yourself. Yes, I did mention there's going to be a report card at the end of the video, so stick around for that, and you'll find out how I rate these items and which one I would stay at if I had to choose. Alright, let's start with a comparison of the category that's going to affect your stay almost more than any other, and that is the hotel room. Of course, both Luxor and Excalibur have various different room types, so the easiest way to compare the two properties is based on the basic room. Now you can see I'm at Luxor right now, and this is in the West Tower. This is a Tower Elite King, so this is actually a step up from the basic room. The last time I stayed here in 2021, I stayed in a standard King room in the Pyramid, which could be considered the basic room here at Luxor. I made a video about that stay and I'll put a link in the description box down below to it so you can see the room in more detail, but I had no problems with that room whatsoever. Now over at Excalibur the standard room can vary greatly depending on which tower you're in. Ashton and I found that out the hard way the first time we had a room at that hotel. The room was, let's just say, pretty bad. We also made a room tour video of that one and I'll put that link in the description box down below. Now that said, I did stay there again just recently this last fall. Now that room was far better than the first one we ever had at Excalibur, but it still wasn't great. It checked off all the basic boxes, but there wasn't anything particularly nice about it. Based on the wide disparity of quality of rooms over at Excalibur, and the fact that even the better of the two rooms still was in my opinion not as nice as the standard rooms over here at Luxor, the room category quite easily falls in favor of Luxor. All right, let's talk about location. Now, it might seem silly to compare the location of these two properties because they sit right next to each other on the Las Vegas Strip, and they're connected indoors via a walkway that I'm in right now. However, if location is very important to you and being closer to the action is important at all, Excalibur definitely has the edge. Not only is it the furthest north of the three MGM properties south of Tropicana Avenue, it's right across the street via a pedestrian footbridge from New York, New York which then gives you access easily to T-Mobile Arena, the park, Park MGM, and everything the Strip has to offer north of there. So yes, they are very close to each other, but if location is important, that extra little bit of distance between Luxor and Excalibur would really add up over time if you're staying at Luxor. As a side note, you might be aware of the tram system that connects Excalibur, Luxor, and Mandalay Bay, but if you're staying at Luxor, that tram is not very helpful. Generally speaking, that monorail system is only valuable to the two hotels at the end of the line, which is Excalibur and Mandalay Bay. So when it comes to location between these two properties, the edge goes to Excalibur. All right, let's talk about the casino because that is a pretty important part of any Las Vegas property. The Excalibur Casino is big. It's over 90,000 square feet and it's pretty inviting. I've always found it to have a really good vibe, a good energy. Yes, it is a little bit smoky, but the theming is great. The selection of games is great. And now that they have that new center bar, it's just a pretty cool place to play. It doesn't hurt that we've always had pretty good luck here as well. The casino floor here at Luxor is considerably smaller, just more than 60,000 square feet, and it doesn't quite have the same atmosphere or energy that the casino over at Excalibur has. I will give them credit over here at Luxor, they have improved the casino over the years. They've got brand new carpet, it smells better than it used to, 
There's just not quite the same action as you find over at Excalibur, and there's not as big a selection of games. Now, in addition to having a better casino than Luxor, I think the sports book at Excalibur is quite a bit better as well. It's significantly larger, it has bigger screens, it has a lot more seating, and it's more open to the casino floor. Just a much more inviting atmosphere at the sports book here compared to Luxor. All right, let's talk about dining now. There's not a big difference between these two properties, between the number of restaurants they have, and there's not a whole lot of difference between quality either. The only one out of either property that would be considered fine dining might be Tender over at Luxor. Here at Excalibur, there are no fine dining options. There's not a steakhouse. There is a wide range of options here, however. Most famously is Dick's Last Resort right behind me here. There's also Taps Force Bar. A lot of grab-and-go type options as well as a food court. Speaking of food courts, this is the food court here at Luxor. where it's really just five fast food joints and a Starbucks. And this is the food court at Excalibur. It's much bigger and much better than the food court at Luxor. There are 13 dining establishments here at Excalibur. Many of the same ones you'll find over at Luxor with a lot more. So if you're looking for the better food court between the two, it's Excalibur hands down. Now both Luxor and Excalibur have a buffet and both of them are only open for brunch. I did make a video about the Excalibur buffet and soon there will be a video about the Luxor buffet. I'll put a link to the Excalibur video in the description box down below and you'll have to subscribe so you see that Luxor Buffet video when it comes out. That video is actually already out and believe it or not the Luxor Buffet was better in my opinion than the Excalibur Buffet. But overall these two properties have very similar restaurants. So much so that I would call this category a draw. Now let's talk about the pools and the amenities at these two properties, and this one is going to be a category that's possibly closer than any other. The pools themselves are probably neck and neck, but this category also includes things like entertainment and activities. From the standpoint of the pool, it's probably going to come down to whether or not you want it to be family friendly or not. Both Luxor and Excalibur have a pretty decent pool scene. The pools are pretty spacious, both have cabanas, both have food and beverage available at the pool side. But the pool area here at Luxor is a lot more adult oriented than the one over at Excalibur. There are also hot tubs and the vibe at the pool at Luxor is more upbeat, louder music, and just as I said, a lot more adult oriented. The pool area over at Excalibur is a little bit more whimsical. There is a pool that has a slide in it. And as I mentioned earlier, you're going to see a lot more kids at that pool. So if you're traveling with kids, you're probably going to prefer the pool over at Excalibur. But if you're not traveling with kids and you're like me, you probably prefer the pool over here at Luxor. Entertainment options at these two properties are actually quite a few. Over at Excalibur, off the top of my head, they have Mac King Comedy, Thunder from Down Under, the Australian Bee Gees. There's, of course, Tournament of Kings, which is a great family-friendly show. I didn't love it, but if you're taking kids, I think it's a good option. They also have the Fun Dungeon downstairs. Over here at Luxor, they have more than you would think. There's actually three very popular shows on the atrium level in terms of Blue Man Group, Fantasy, which is a topless review, and Carrot Top, which is surprisingly good. And then in addition to that, they have the King Tut exhibit, Bodies the Exhibition, and the Titanic Exhibit. So much like the pool's entertainment is probably close to a draw unless there's something specific at one of the two properties you really want to see. Once again, as I said, I prefer a more adult environment when I'm in Vegas, and that's why the amenities at Luxor, including the pool and the entertainment, skew more toward my preference. I give the edge here to Luxor. All right, we've compared and contrasted Luxor and Excalibur in the five categories I mentioned, and it's time to review the scorecard. Understanding that each category is different and there is no perfect way to rate hotels against each other, I decided on this method. Each of the five categories are worth 10 points apiece. A draw would be five to five, and a total sweep would be 10 points for one property and zero for the other. I think the rooms are so far superior at Luxor over Excalibur. I rated this one seven to three in favor of Luxor, and it probably could have been more. In terms of location, I mentioned Excalibur has the slight edge, and that's why I rated it six to four for Excalibur. The casino at Excalibur is bigger than Luxor's and it has a better vibe and I've always had better luck there. Excalibur has the edge here 6-4. to four. 
In terms of restaurants, Luxor has nicer options, but Excalibur has a better range of options. That's why I consider this one to be a draw, five points apiece. And finally, as far as pools and amenities are concerned, this one was close as well, but the amenities and the pools over at Luxor are more adult oriented and thus I think more Vegas. That's why I gave it the slight edge, six to four. Add it all up and it's almost as close as you can get. Luxor beats Excalibur, in my opinion, 26 points to 24 points. I prefer Luxor over Excalibur for one main reason, and that's the rooms. The room is pretty important to us when we come to Las Vegas, and the rooms at Luxor are considerably better than those over at Excalibur. So much so that I would stay here over there, despite the fact that I think the overall property there might be slightly better. Either way, the point of this was just to show you what the differences are between the two properties and help you choose. Hopefully this video did that, and hopefully you found it informative and entertaining. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss our videos when they come out in the future. Hey, thanks as always for watching. We'll see you in that next video because there's always more for us to show you on Show Me Vegas.